Moon Magic Super Souls, welcome back to the channel if you're already a part of this community and welcome to anyone who's new. Beautiful souls, I hope you are all doing amazingly and thank you for being here. Now today we are asking for an immediate message, a time sensitive message, guidance that you need to know right now. And we're also gonna be potentially checking out the next seven days as well. How are things going to unfold and pan out? Now I am seeing pile one and pile two here as well. I'm going to draw a rune and a charm as well. I know some of you really like those. Oops, I was about to turn that over. Let's turn them over in order. So beautiful souls. I know some of you like the runes and the charms as well. I post these readings every Sunday. They are timeless though. So even if you are following them week in, week out, and thank you, I'm very humbled. I know some of you do. I'm truly, truly humbled. Thank you for your support of the channel. But um, you really can find these readings at any time. Just go to the homepage, check out the videos and look for that guidance. You'll always, I feel, find the right reading for you at the right moment. And there are so many brilliant readers here on YouTube as well. So you, you can always, I believe, find the guidance that you need. So pile one, you have the card of confidence. This is pile one. Okay, pile two, you have the card of death. This is pile two. And pile three, you have the card of quest. This is pile three. interesting energy I will say you can imagine you are picking up on it beautiful souls really very very interesting energy here I'm not going to say any more till we get into the readings now let us uh, draw a rune and a charm for each oh, let's see, actually, I'm hearing two charm two runes two two runes and a charm for each so pile one you have Hagalas and Tewaz Okay, so this is the rune of uh, the Great Awakener, uh, sometimes known as Disruption, and also uh, the Spiritual Warrior. And your charm is a unicorn. Wow, okay, so. Mm, there's messages coming through already. I'm saying nothing, I'm just gonna leave you to tune in. Okay, beautiful souls, so next. We have the death card, we have two runes and a charm. So we have um, protection, algas, and also Isa, stand still. And your charm is a pair of glasses. So that is pile two. And then pile three. We have two runes coming straight out for you. You have the rune of Othilla. This is the rune of inheritance. And you have the rune of possessions, nourishments. This is uh, Fehu. And you have a spider. So that is pile three. Okay, so my beautiful souls, I'm going to leave the video running for just a few moments longer. I know some of you really just like a little bit of time to settle into the energy. Um, thank you so, so much for being here, beautiful souls. Thank you for supporting the channel. It, it really is, I mean, it means so much to me that watching this community grow, you are absolutely amazing. So um, trust your gut feeling, sit with whichever of these cards, runes, charms are speaking with you. If more than one is coming through for you, there may well be more than one message for you today. Uh, my beautiful souls, I will see you in just a moment in the readings.
Pile one, welcome to your reading, beautiful souls. Really strong messages coming through, literally, as I was drawing the cards, the runes, the charms. Uh, I feel as though you're having a voice. It's like you're, you're rising in confidence here. Uh, you are not fearful of being seen. And you may have to be saying something. <laughs> Ooh, listen to me getting all my words in a in a tis was um i feel like it's uh you're having a voice and you're not afraid to uh, you can be really clear really decisive i almost feel as though for some of you this message will apply to some but not all as if you're not afraid to rock the boat uh, you're not afraid to step up you're not afraid to be seen you're not afraid to have a voice over something even if it's going against the, the sort of the, the tide or the general consensus there's something that you're really quite clear about here that's coming through here and I'm loving your energy I think you really are on very 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 solid ground as well and I think you know it it's almost like there's a principle at stake here you have the duck and chrysanthemum this is a card of luck do you know, I was about to say luck is on your side. You know, you can, you can step up. You've got the energy of the unicorn. Well, you're coming from a place of a pure heart. That's why. I mean, your, your intent is really, really good. Your intent in, in having a voice, it, you're not rocking the boat or stepping out of uh, a, a sort of a place of acqui acquiescence. Is that the right word? Um, you're doing it for the right reasons. You're stepping up because you can and you know it's right. That there's no, it's almost like there's no question in your mind. You just, you're just not phased about it. How interesting. Gossip. Ah, right. Yes, there's gossip going on. There's some stuff going on and you know it's not okay. And you're not prepared to um, go along with it is what I'm hearing. You're really clear, you're really decisive about this. I've just noticed, can you see how remarkable it is that the colors, not just the colors of these cards are in attunement with one another, but look at the faces of these two birds. They're absolutely in, they're facing the same way, they're on the same team. You're rising. You're not prepared to buy into something you're not prepared to, you may be, some of you may be standing up for the underdog. You're not prepared to accept something that you know is not acceptable. That's the energy that's around you right now. Facade, absolutely, you can see through the facade. Someone is behaving in a very childish manner around you and you, you can see right through it and you're not buying into it, not one little bit, not one iota. Um, and what's really gorgeous about the energy here is um you're you're not you're not in an angsty place about it i mean it might have miffed miffed you a bit or whatever but you're not you know how sometimes things can go on and you and it can really get to you it's not really getting to you i feel like you're in a really straightforward place with this it is what it is clear cut it is what it is i'm not buying into it i can see what's going on this isn't my bag you know, if that's how you want to live your life, that's fine, but it's up to you. You're in a very powerfully positive zone here. That's what I'm really seeing. Let's draw some more cards. In fact, let's draw from a tarot pack first. I can see clearly what's going on or your position here. But let's ask about... Yeah, let's ask for a bit more information, a bit more clarification. And also, it's really interesting, as I've picked these cards up, a card was left. I'm going to turn that over first. Three of Wands. Look at that with those binoculars on. Again, luck is coming through for you here. Let me just put the, this pack down here first. Luck, action, adventure. You are so not prepared to go along with something you're doing something that because you can see it for what it is you see it clearly i think you've stood back you've chosen to distance yourself from something you're still observing it you're watching it unfold 
<laughs> yeah, I think you're probably watching a few people get themselves into a bit of a pickle, if I'm honest. But you're watching it unfold. But it's it's it really isn't. Um, it's like water off a duck's back to you. It's just not a problem. It just it, it's not. You're not buying into it. It isn't an issue for you. If that's how they want to play, then off they go. You can't do anything about it, but you can stand back and observe. You're really clear about this. Someone's trying to draw you in or has tried to draw you into something and you are choosing to really step away. This is the energy around you as well. When I sort of said, it's not like pressing your buttons. You are very compassionate, very understanding. I think you're recognizing that maybe people's sort of almost inner child is activated. You're not involved in it. You're just choosing to observe without any kind of engagement there. May we get information about, and see your position very clearly, about how this is panning out. Information about the coming week, the coming seven days. I'm seeing these three cards and these two as well. Okay. You have five of swords. Okay, so there is upheaval around you or a difficult sort of decision going on. Ten of swords. Okay, ace of wands. Ten of cups. Yeah, and the fool, what a confirmation. I actually think that something, you, you've stood back from it You've chosen not to engage with it. And I think with unquestionably, you see it for what it is. And I think you've almost, for some of you, just made a really conscious decision to uh, to not let it affect you. To, to just You just know it doesn't resonate with you. It's not right. I think it's going to come to a head this week, actually. You've stood back. You're observing it. You've been very compassionate. And that's really helped you. You've brought understanding to the situation, um, beautiful souls. And way to go, because we can so easily fuel something that is a bit full of drama and gossip and crappy stuff um, simply by giving it too much attention. And I feel you're giving it the right attention. It's like you're observing from afar to see how it pans out. But you're also looking at it through the eyes of compassion and wisdom and balance and harmony and grace. And as a consequence, you are able to observe it without being drawn in. A way to go. This is really impressive. And what I'm seeing here is it will come to a head, actually, this week, this scenario. You may have been watching it for some time. It's going to come to a head and it will reach a point where, if I'm honest, um, I think some of you may really sort of, um, I mean, some of you may actually literally walk away with the Ten of Swords. But I, either way, you, you haven't been drawn in, interestingly enough. I, I think it's going to shift and turn. Let's get some more information. How is it going to shift and turn this week? Could we get some clarification about how this happens, please? I want to say way to go. and It just feels really good. Ah, unexpected visitors. Okay, something actually, there's going to be a turnaround in this situation um, and it will be unexpected. I, I actually think somebody else is going to step in or someone will arrive. So it could even be an opportunity where you kind of actually walk away from it completely. But I, I feel that, yeah, something else is going to come around. Look at this, we have card number 50, the compass. I feel almost as if a... Someone will, something will kick in like, like a moral compass here because of whatever's going on. Wizard of awareness. I actually think something unexpected, this is taking a, a twist or a turn for the unexpected in a positive way because it's going to bring it to its own natural conclusion. There'll be a new beginning. If you are observing family members here with the Ten of Cups, maybe there's a rift in your family and you've been really determined not to get involved. You know, that people have tried to draw you in or it could be a rift between friends. They've tried to draw, to draw you in and you've been really determined. Actually, sorry, no, you know, I'll observe from afar, but I'm not buying into this, all this he says, she says stuff. You've really behaved really honourably. There's going to be a really big turnaround here like a moral compass gets kicked in. It could well be an arrival of someone who brings in a different viewpoint or creates a different perspective 
or something comes to light, something that was behind closed doors is suddenly coming to light. And because it comes to light, there's an opportunity. In a way, I, I sort of feel like your own perspective is actually going to be validated. Um, I could even say vindicated for some of you if some of the gossip and drama has been about you, actually. Um, largely, I just feel you've really done incredibly well um, by holding the position you've held with serenity, with confidence, with grace. And, you know, you've not been prepared to, even though it might have upset the apple cart a bit that you wouldn't buy into it, way to go. And now there is a shift occurring. Somebody arrives or a door is opened. Um, as in, I, I sort of feel like literally something that was behind closed doors is revealed. And it enables the resetting, the realignment of the, it's like the family dynamics, or if it's a group of friends the, or, or colleagues, for example, those dynamics can be reset and realigned because there's now an awareness. Something's out in the open. Let's check out and see how this then does pan out. But that's what I'm seeing for this week. So if you're sitting on the edge of something and you're thinking you're trying to sit in that position of water off a duck's back, but it's not always easy. We're seeing a really big turnaround this week because literally something's going to be brought to light and, and way to go. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there's opportunity for some sense of reflection here. Marvellous. Look at this. We have the four of wands. We have the six of wands. Beautiful. We have the ace of pentacles. I think someone, I almost, this is a very old fashioned saying, but I feel like someone sees the error of their ways. Almost as if someone realises you know, that sort of wake up call. I mean, Uranus, um, the energy of Uranus, which is very present in this rune um, of uh, Hagalas disruption very present and you know Uranus is the great awakener Hagalas sort of wakes us up it's disruption with purpose I think someone wakes up something something is suddenly shown so maybe somebody that was taking sides in maybe inadvertently fueling the, the fire or thinking they were righteous about what they were doing they didn't see through the facade somebody does and there's a lot of you might even find that um you receive an apology or but there's recognition here with the six of wands as well sort of open recognition of your position so if any of you have been experiencing gossip and drama behind your back i think it's going to come into the open um something is not remaining hidden anymore that's for sure we then have the queen well look at these three queens i mean how amazing is that energy for you my beautiful souls Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. I almost feel as though if you have been, if you're the one that people have been talking about behind your back or this gossip and drama, or they, there's been a little bit of pissed offness because you wouldn't join in, I feel that this is sort of cleared up. I think you're seen for the position you've held. I think there is clear validation and recognition and, and, and people kind of look up to you because of the stands that you took and because you chose not to be involved. But the key here, my beautiful pile one, is that something is brought into the open, it's brought to light. And, and it's the awareness of this that resets the pathway, the trajectory of, of something that hasn't been really very good. It's shifting, it's changing. Ten of Cups, we're going to see that shift. It's going to be fabulous. A new beginning, the fall. So yeah, something realigns, resets, it reorientates and in a really, really good way. So where you are, water off a duck's back. I mean, way to go. And if you are having any kind of moments when you get a wave of stuff that comes in and you have a wobble around it. The, your reading today is really here to reassure you that something will come to light. So just hold your position. It's the right place to be. Your attitude, your state of mind has been amazing throughout this. Uh, you haven't fueled the fire. You've really, really held your own, but in a very sparkly, magical, gentle kind of compassionate, honoring kind of way. Way to go, Pile One. Huge respect to you. It's not easy when stuff like this is floating around or people are trying to get you to take sides or whatever this is actually about um, for you. 
Pyro One, this is your reading. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, I'm actually away at the moment, so if I am a, a little slow to respond to comments, um, do please forgive me. I will be reading them um, and, and you know checking in with the comments as I always do. I love hearing what's going on in your world. So thank you so, so much, all of you, for your support of the channel, of me, and of one another as well. Um, Pile One, this is your reading. Uh, don't forget, I post these every Sunday, and I also post readings on uh, Tuesdays and Fridays as well, where I'm asking specific questions questions um, so do check those out we are living in very exciting times really so um, pile one tons of love and huge respect to you see you soon for another reading and thank you for liking sharing and subscribing my beautiful souls and um, these things really really do help the channel help to support the channel and thank you all of you who give back through the super thanks as well and your those of you who are now members here on youtube and those of you who are on patreon just Gratitude to you all. Huge, huge humble gratitude. Tons of love, power one. Pile two, welcome to your reading. Very, very strong message coming through, which is um, you will find your way through this. You're going to be shown the way. There's something you're navigating. Um, maybe it's feeling a little sticky or like it's not really moving forwards. There's something that feels a bit stuck or it's not happening. Um, in fact, I actually feel that it's, it's not moving fast or it's at a standstill because there is actually something else that needs to be brought to light for you to be able to then kind of move forwards appropriately. So this is really saying don't rush. Actually, you're reading really acknowledging, don't rush, there's more to see, there's more to be understood. You are being guided, protected. The slowness of this, the um, the not moving forwards at speed is, is genuinely with higher purpose. I feel like there's divine guidance around you on this one. Let's... Uh, Bring out more cards for you. You have the bat and helleball intuition. Now bats, of course, are remarkable creatures, aren't they? They fly in the dark. They're able to see um, in the dark. They work on, you know, they have a radar system. Yeah, you're going to be able to intuitively feel your way through this, okay? This is not a time to rush forwards or to try and act sort of, I almost want to say to act logically. Um, you need to listen to your emotions. And I would also differentiate between what I would call emotions that are connected to intuition. You know, like if you meet someone and you get a really strong gut feeling, you just, they just feel good or you feel uneasy. Those are your emotions telling you something. It's very immediate, it's very now, it's very present, and it's a, a clear message. It's part of your guidance system. But sometimes we generate other emotions that are more to do with um, frustration because something isn't moving forwards, or um, emotions that connect to past, to the past, to our, our perspectives from history. So let's say you had an experience where something didn't work out and now something isn't moving forwards and, and it's thrown you into anxiety about the same thing happening again. Now those emotions aren't responding to the present moment, they're responding to history and, and there's a difference here. I think it's just valuable to point that out because I feel there's something, you're being asked to be actually very present to your intuition rather than being cluttered by emotions that could connect to other scenarios, you know, where there's concern or fear that something the same thing might happen again or concern and fear that it won't happen actually for some of you um, perhaps with something not moving forwards but I'm just hearing that there's a well I'll be really honest there's quite a chilled out relaxed feel to your reading even though something is showing that isn't actually moving forwards it feels as though look it'll come in its own time you'll see what you need to see it's going to be fine quite a chilled kind of responsive here and now kind of energy. I'm actually seeing these two cards for you. We have miracle, wonderful and expansion. Wow, look at this and look at the same energy here of the miracle just in her hand. I'm hearing, what, what's that saying, a bird in hand or something like that? Is that right? A saying a bird in hand or something in the hand? But look, the breakthrough moment will come. 
actually. Look at this lady with the, the world in her belly. Yeah, this is absolutely being guided. The, you know, I said I felt like there was divine guidance around you. There absolutely is. And just look at the, um, the similarities in this, in this card. Look at the energy and the colors and the shapes just coming. And this is an angel, but look at the... You're being guided. Um, there's divine guidance. There's something going on here. Um, and the timing will be right. And when it does, you'll know it. You'll, you'll absolutely know. It'll be like a, almost like a, a bit like a gift. I would say a gift from God. So something will just be shown to you. You'll know. You'll know. You'll you'll see it. Um, not necessarily visibly with your eyes, but with your third eye, with your intuition, you'll see it. You'll know it. So you know. This reading is really about removing concern and anxiety, removing the emotions that could be generated because it's not happening very quickly. Um, something is, is, is moving forward. Let's get more information for you. May we have more information for pile two. What is moving forwards? What's happening? Page of Swords. We have six of pentacles. We have two of wands. This will definitely move forwards your, your situation. It will be unique to you each. This will move forwards, that's for sure. And it, you will find you get to a point where I think at the moment you're feeling a bit like you don't have a choice, like it's, it's just not happening. I think the purpose here is that it's not meant to happen just yet. There's divine timing involved. It's, it's, there's something in its um, relatively early stages. It's not brand new, but something that just hasn't quite escalated or hasn't quite got going. I'm sort of almost seeing, you know those conveyor belts that you get at airports and they look like they go on forever and they look like they go on, it looks like they're going really, really slowly. It's so you can put your luggage down and not carry it. But that's sort of almost what I feel like, you know, just put the baggage down and just let it move along nicely of its own accord. You will be able to make plans. If this involves someone, if, if, if you're not, they haven't moved towards you as you thought they might, um, you know, you will be connecting with them, working with them, being with them, whatever that may be. You know, here we have give, receive, family, six of pentacles. This is, it's, it's all about give and take as well here. Yeah, maybe if somebody's a bit stuck as well around you and you're just getting really frustrated because they're never available for a conversation, just, you know, there's some give and take that's needed here. Just let it unfold. Yeah, King of Pentacles. This is going to move forwards in a really good way. You'll reach a point. I love that we have the eye here, the third eye, uh, over visionary with these eyes. You will reach a point. It may well be this week. Um because this is a, a weekly reading. Um, yeah, you will... Haha. <laughs> things will move ahead. Okay. Do you know, in a funny way, I, if any of you are getting a little bit... Um, I mean, we have desire, obsession. A little bit, uh, you know, kind of not obsessed as such, but you know when you really just want something to happen and it isn't, and then you start to feel really insecure and then the emotions rise and all this sort of stuff. Just let it be. Let it unfold. Hold the vision of what you want in the future, but let it run its course. It's going to, it's, it's going to happen. There's, this look, just looks fabulous. The energy is fabulous. We have the Knight of Swords. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. There's a big fear of rejection here, actually. I'm seeing a really big fear of rejection here. I'm seeing that you're either you or someone else actually in this scenario is is fearful of, of rejection. In fact, I would I will this is a message that will apply to some but not all. It's a general reading, so you know you need to take what resonates with you. But I think that if this is connected to another person, a relationship, they are actually quite fearful of it going wrong. 
and they're having to sort of, they're having to process their own fears, their own shadows around this. They're having to sort of, I think they're doing a bit of battle with themselves around this. They really, really want it, but they're very fearful of this happening again. And that, that message may apply to some of you too. It might have tweaked, you know, pressed some of your buttons. But this will expand. It's like a miracle will happen. Let's get more information about this miracle. What's going to happen to create the shift? I'm seeing a shift. I'm seeing something come together with the two of ones, a partnership, a creative partnership. So whether this is a, a situation or a, a person, something is coming together. What creates the shift? Here. What's the miracle? May we have clarif clarity, clarification around the miracle, please? Okay, moonlight. <laughs> I'm hearing all in good time. <laughs> I realise that's probably not what you want to hear, actually. <laughs> all in good time, everything will be revealed. Okay. The transformation is coming. You have the death card. The transformation is coming. All in good time. Okay. Ha, ah, how interesting. We have an owl here and another owl here. And again, divine timing. Okay. Mm. The Golden Palace. Okay, what I'm hearing in the energy of today is I think there's a shared end goal. I do think for many of you, this does connect to a scenario that connects to another person. That could be friendship, it could be an intimate relationship, it could be a, a family relationship, it could be someone that you are, um, it could be an existing intimate relationship or someone brand new. If it's existing, there's a problem here. There's, there's something's reached a bit of a stalemate. Something's not moving ahead or you're waiting to try and make a collaborative decision and it's not happening. Could be a situation at work. I do feel it involves another person, particularly for some, a group of other people, but I'm largely seeing another person and you're waiting. And I think you can see where you want to go. Uh, curiously enough, I think you both have the same end goal, which is useful to know, I believe. It's just that for some reason, the doors are not opened yet. Something has to open, something has to shift. What is this miracle about? Encouragement, hmm, okay. That's interesting. Let's get some clarity around encouragement. How is the encouragement coming? Does someone need encouragement? Do you need to say something to them? Knight of Swords, yes, I think you do. I think that they don't quite know where you are with this. We've got the Three of Cups. A Little bit of help here, w wouldn't go amiss from, from friends. Um, I'm seeing celebration, I'm seeing a conflict, a decision being actually being made and a decision to work to work through this actually. So whatever this stalemate, this standstill, I think actually there is a need for perhaps for you to actually give some encouragement, whether you encourage yourself or you, I mean, in a way it has to run it, there's something that needs to turn over or, or you're being asked to wait, you need to see something. But I do think you can encourage something by being available to, it's almost like being, this is going to sound like a, a paradox because I'm going to give you what could sound like a conflicting message, but it actually isn't, okay. It's like encouraging somebody, giving them encouragement, and yet not actually making it happen either, not pursuing someone, but just giving them messages that enable them to know that you're, it's kind of like reaching out and saying to somebody, look, I'm ready to speak whenever you are, but in your own time, you know, or it's like putting, putting something out there but not driving it forwards, but creating that space of possibility, like opening a door 
and then letting it unfold, letting the other person come forward because they're ready. I think you can pave the way to something. It's like fertilizing the ground for your own deliverance. So creating a space of encouragement without actually doing it. That's what I'm seeing here. Wow, we have four that have just flown out. Let's use these cards for your reading. We have the Seven of Swords. Ah, okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Magician, and we have the Nine of Cups. Okay. There is actually something that you genuinely don't know about going on here. Okay, it's not a negative, I don't think, but you basically don't know about it with the Seven of Swords. Some, this other person or the situation is holding back with purpose. There is something else that has to emerge and happen before. So you may be getting a bit fed up, a bit reticent. You're waiting for something or wondering why they haven't contacted you or they're not speaking or they're not doing something. Um, something else has to happen. You, there's something you, you're, you're completely unaware of here. It's got to be processed first, actually. Once it's processed, um, th this person will make a choice and come forward and, and it will all shift. It will all work. And there's a really satisfactory outcome here. Let's just check in because this is a weekly reading. If this is, let's just check in and see if there is any guidance within this. Is this happening this week? Could we ask or, you know, where does this sit? It's very difficult to ask timing wise. I always think in a reading because Aside from a general reading, it might be different for you each. I think in a reading as well with time, the time and space continuum in our connection to spirit, to source is, is different. They don't see the world in a linear way. And also things can shift. But at the time of this reading, let's ask, can we have guidance as to what might unfold this week? Okay, we have the hanged man. We have the devil. And then we have the Six of Wands, which is the card of victory. Right. What I see in terms of this week is you're sort of literally being asked to wait. The, the shift will come, but it's, it's like it's not your choice to make. There's a choice. It's like the ball's in someone else's court. And there's something going on around them that influences this decision and you're not yet aware of it. And, and you don't need to be. It's, it's almost like it's their business. There's something else. You could be waiting for a validation for something or, you know, or a job offer or, you know, whatever it is. But there's something that connects to somebody. I said if you've had an argument or a disagreement and you're thinking, why is this person, you know, not wanting to work this through or you've met someone and they're not moving it ahead. There's something going on that they are attending to first. As soon as they've attended to it and they can put it behind them, put it down, things will then move forwards. Now, whether this happens this week for you, I am slightly unclear simply because I'm seeing success and I'm seeing them come out into the open. Yes, of course, I think they come clean, as it were, they tell you. They come and talk to you. At the moment, the dilemma is, I think they're, again, they're insecure, they're fearful that it won't work out. They're fearful if they tell you that you would take it badly or treat them unkindly or, you know, there's, there's definitely an anxiety and a fear in the other person or, this will be a message for some, but not all. I mean, this is a general reading. But I do, I think for some, for some of you, this person isn't moving forwards because they're concerned, I don't know whether they've done something wrong or that, you know, that, that argument or something, or they're fearful of something being brought to light. But I feel that they'll reach a point where they can actually sort of put it behind them. And, and yeah, come out into the open with something here, be seen. Either way, for some of you, again, if there's just a delay in something and it's really frustrating, um, I think you'll suddenly discover that it will come through and then you'll realise and know that the delay was purposeful or there was something else going on that you were unaware of. And then it's almost like all that sort of worry and feeling of not knowing what's happening and having to wait and getting a bit fed up will all cease to be to have any relevance because you'll know why 
and therefore with that piece of information it'll all make sense. Pile two, your reading is really, really clear. Um, um, obviously, um, you have conscious free will and choice. So at any time a reading suggests doing something, it's up to you what you do. But overall, your reading is suggesting you know, put down any insecurities. Navigate your way with intuition because a miracle is happening. You're going to be, I think it will move forwards in a really big way. And for many of you, I think you're going to discover why it hasn't been moving forwards, actually. And it's within that, that as well that, that there's a huge amount of sort of success, satisfaction and an opportunity to then move ahead and kind of work with this really pile two this is your reading thank you so so much for joining me today it is a real blessing and an honor to be connected with you all and thank you beautiful souls for liking sharing and subscribing and to all of you who give back through the super thanks um, it's such a privilege to read for you and I'm so grateful for all of your contributions that help me to continue to put free stuff into the world. Thank you all of you who are now part of the membership um, side of, of this, um, of the YouTube channel as well. And to those of you who are on Patreon, beautiful souls, tons and tons of love. Um, it is absolutely a blessing to read for you. Just yeah, be very chilled about this because it, it, will, it will emerge most definitely. Beautiful souls, tons and tons of love. Hey, beautiful souls, welcome to your reading pile three. Now, you have the card of quest. You're on a mission here in some way. Now, I'm seeing a really, really, um, I don't know, a big turnaround of something here. Maybe you receiving a gift or an inheritance. Something comes to you that enables you to set forth like almost on a new adventure towards some, it moves you towards a goal or an ambition or something that you want. So what is it that's coming to you? What is that's coming to my beautiful um, pile threes? Let's get more information. What is the message that is being offered to pile three today? The bear and the cedar leadership okay mm. let's draw from the chakra cards definitely seeing you set forth leadership I, I feel like I'm almost hearing like you know being in charge of your own ship maybe some resources come to you so either that I'm seeing you let go of something as well some of you I think for some of you there is something coming to you that enables you to take charge to steer the ship to, to move to set forth on a new adventure a new quest it's like the resources the energy the something you needed or just even letting go of something and moving beyond it. Wisdom. Oh, look at this. She has the world in her belly here. And this dove of peace. Hmm. Let me have some more information. What message do pile three need? We have the card of facade. Now this is a card where Someone has carried a lot of responsibility all their lives and then they sort of get to the end of their life and they're able to reconnect to their inner child. They're able to, yeah, they carried something, a perspective, carried responsibility all their lives. I feel that there is a responsibility or something that you've assumed responsibility for comes to an end. It's like you're free to pursue your own pathway. If, if any of you, and this is a rune of inheritance, which suggests sometimes separation from something. If any of you haven't ex experienced a loss, I am deeply sorry for your loss. I'm also seeing a pathway of greater freedom. If it was a loss, it will be one of those scenarios. And, and I, it's a hard thing to say, but I'm gonna voice it because I think sometimes I mean, we have to say it as we as we should. Sometimes if something has been challenging, when somebody finally goes, it's a relief, even though it's devastating. And there's this feeling of something coming to an end here. There's a relief that you can move forwards. You can start a fresh pathway. Something comes to an end and something comes to you as well to assist you in 
being able to take charge of a situation or of your own world. Let's draw some tarot cards. What else are we shown? I think there's a validation of this happening here. Your first message, Queen of Pentacles, um, wise, charming, loyal, loving. I mean, this is, yeah, something's to be gifted to you actually to enable you to set forth if you are tired maybe more energy if your health hasn't been good i think you'll be gifted with some revelation about your health if whatever it is you're to be gifted with something that gives you what you need to move forwards and i feel like this is a kind of a validation for those of you that are sitting a place where you're feeling tired we have the six of swords we have the knight of swords we have the three of wands. Yeah. Adventure, luck, action. Yes. Something, there's a turnaround here. You're to be gifted something, whether it's energy or um, literally, for some of you, it really is genuine resources. So physical resources, money, um, possessions. Um, this is the rune of possessions. It could be something, a physical something that literally, I mean, some of you could even be given a house or an, if you were trying to move house and you haven't found one, I think you're about to be gifted with the right house, the right place to live. But this is an inheritance. I'm seeing you moving forwards, leaving something that has ended is now bringing you something that is gifted and allows you to look ahead. Um, if you have been if you were, I don't know, made redundant, this would be the time you get a job or you've been applying for jobs or applying for promotions. You've been struggling financially. This is the, um, the week when something comes through for you that is, is moving you forwards. It's giving you what you need. You can breathe again. You can relax again. You can play again. The tension, you know, that's that's been around you because of your circumstances finally eases. Yes, Eight of Pentacles. Look at the bees and the nectar. Hard work, results. I do feel it is. It feels like a result. Yes, you get something here. Something coming to an end. Two of Wands. How beautiful. We are seeing you genuinely move forwards, having the energy, the vitality. It's time something move forwards as well. I suspect this situation, whatever it is around you, that hasn't been perhaps actively moving forwards, that's, that has, it's, it's like it reaches its, its point of, I can't say stuckness, it's just, it's just that something's actually processed or a gift is delivered to you insight wisdom free there's a sense of freedom here in your reading actually the star renewed hope hope faith optimism miracles guiding light well i'm just really loving the energy of your reading pile three i just feel that something that has been sort of lingering it's taken it possibly it's it's been taken a while to process. It, it feels like you finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. There's renewed hope. You can set forth, you can believe in a future and you can take the steps towards that future. And it is an achievement. This is a, um, a, like a, almost like a, a stepping stone in your progress through the processing of something. But what a magical point where you can start to move forwards. I do, I feel like you can play again. You can let go of the burden of something, something that's really weighed heavy on you. You can finally let it go and move forwards. And that could, as I said, be health, it could be money worries. I'm seeing, you know, we've got pentacles here. This is the shift here. Lots of worry, lots of concern, shifting to a place of hope and miracles. How wonderful. If you felt helpless and unable to, you know, be in charge of your world, I think that's shifting. Let's look at how the week is panning out. So cleaning house. We have magical map shifter. Wonderful. We have strength. Yes. You're rising again. 
absolutely rising again this is lovely so I kind of want to say you know attend to there's a bit of spring cleaning to do um, if you're feeling as though um, I get it's like what's that saying where the wind blows the cobwebs it blows, blows the cobwebs out of your there is a saying around and I can't think of what it actually is but to do with the wind blowing the cobwebs out I, I feel like a time that has been feeling very wintry very cold is coming to an end and is now going to start to sparkle and come alive again for whatever reason if you've had a loss I'm so sorry but this is a time when you can breathe again maybe you've been processing something of a move a house move and you can finally you're on solid ground you can breathe again you can start to weave the future. You can see the future. As I said, if there's been money worries, you get the job offer that you desire here. You're able to take charge of your life again because something comes to you to enable you to do this. Let's look at how the week is panning out for my beautiful pile of threes. Look at that, the wheel is turning and the hierophant. It's time. This is guided, um, it, it's time. It's almost like the natural, this is the natural time for something to shift and to change. The wheel is turning. I sort of almost want to say, and about time. That's what it feels like. This has gone on for a while, I think. I get the impression of that. Yes, we have the Six of Swords again, showing up twice here for you. You're moving forwards. You can see the way ahead. Yeah, it's been really tough, hasn't it, my beautiful souls? There's been something that's really, really, really been very, very hard. You just could not see, you were beginning to feel like you, you just couldn't see the way ahead. It's been, it, I really hear how tough this has been. Yeah, look at this. So eight of swords and then 10 of swords. But this is the turning point. So what is coming? So this week is the turning point. This week it's like that the period of processing comes to an end. You can breathe again, you can move forwards. What is the gift? What, what happens to create this? May we ask for clarification? I have seen that card there. Queen of Cups. Okay. For some of you, in all honesty, you've got here through your own sheer hard work, and there's a real validation of that here. You got here, you did it. Your own hard work, your own endurance, your own um, perseverance. You've got to the finish line here and now you can look ahead. You've seen your way through something. Something reaches a point of completion and you are gifted because of it. I do feel there's an element here of you really, really deserve this. Ace of Swords, fabulous. You really can see your way ahead now. You've solidly processed this. Yeah, we have got the Four of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So this is a point where you can move forwards. You are also being asked, I think as well, or being honored to take a breather take some time out to play. You know, don't just launch forwards to the next mission, as it were. Take a breather, celebrate, and just pause and take stock. Because when I say celebrate, it, this doesn't have a massively celebratory energy about it, because I feel it's like something that has been a bit of an endurance test you've got there. But you've got there because you've worked at it. Way to go. But I do feel there is it's appropriate to stand still and just breathe again and say, do you know what? I really deserve to take a day out. I deserve to take a week out or time out. I deserve to stop. I've worked my socks off. The future is unfolding. I can see a way forwards. I can look ahead. Just press the pause button. Don't go gung-ho forward motion at this point. Just acknowledge the point where you are, beautiful souls and take the credit for your hard work. You know, you are in a space of optimism, hope, of miracles, of, of knowing that things have changed. You know that the wheel has turned. There's a commitment to the future. You can now make a commitment to a different future, but it's been a tough call to get here. That's what I'm seeing. And because it's been a tough call, 
this is a real acknowledgement that you really, really, really do deserve, really deserve, um, to just actually take a breather, take stock, and, and then continue, of course. But you're going to be, um, this is the turnaround you've needed, and you've really seen your way through this big time, whatever it is. It's, it's, you've had to work at it, there's no question of it. Well, beautiful souls, um, I'm thrilled that the turnaround is coming for you this week. It feels really important. I feel like this is something you absolutely need. The right thing at the right time at the right place, it's got that flavor. Pile three, um, I'm sending you a big hug. I feel like I want to send you a really big hug because I think this has been a lot, bit of a long haul for some of you, but you finally are at that turning point. You can look ahead, you can breathe again, you can play again, you can relax. So, get still, meditate, give thanks. You can finally, finally, sort of almost like emotionally, you can, you can look back without feeling overloaded and simultaneously look forward and believe in a future. Whatever this has been, it's been big. Um, beautiful souls. Um, you've really handled it so amazingly well. Um, obviously, this is a message for some and not all, but you've really, you've attended to the details. You've sorted things out through and through. Way to go. It's time for you to actually reap the rewards of your hard, hard, hard efforts. Pile three, tons of love, sending you the hugest hug. Thank you so much, all of you, for liking, sharing, for subscribing, and for all of you who give back through the super thanks. And thank you to those of you who support the channel through Patreon and who support the channel through the membership area in YouTube. Um, it is a blessing um, to be connected. I'm so grateful for your extra support. It really does help me to continue to put tons of free stuff into the world, and it supports my library, the A to Z of Emotional Health um, Library. That's a free resource, and um, it's your donations and contributions contributions that actually make it possible for that to be a free resource and to continue to help many people. So thank you. You don't just support the channel, you really do support many, many people um, through emotional and psychological turmoil and difficulty. So thank you um, on behalf of everyone who uses the library and a heartfelt thank you from me. Pile three, tons of love. I look forward to seeing you again. I post these readings on Sundays every week for weekly guidance and on Tuesday and Friday I post other readings and shorts in between. So there's a ton of stuff out there um, that may be of interest to you. So tons of love, pile three um, and way to go.